you know, we talked to a lot of restaurants and one of the owners we talked to said during the lunch rush, um, I actually want to unplug my phone because it's ringing off the hook and I can't, you know, I can't answer this phone and make this food. And so by enabling us to help answer the phone, uh, we actually can put the route the order directly into the kitchen. So how is voice AI transforming the restaurant experience? We're going to dig into that topic today. I'm Brett Kinsella, founder of voicebot.ai. Many people think of voice assistants as tools for smartphones, smart speakers, maybe the car, but innovation is taking the technology just about everywhere, as many of you know. To discuss this, I have James Hahn with me, one of the co-founders of SoundHound. Welcome, James. Hi, Brett. Thanks for having me. Oh, I'm, I'm very happy to have you. Now, I thought it's great to have you on, particularly since SoundHound is well known for developing voice assistants for big automakers, social media, mobile apps, consumer products. How did you wind up in the restaurant business? Yeah, it's a great question. We've always had this vision that speaking to your devices is the most natural way to interact. And that's what we've always been driving towards. And we realized that uh, the technology we've built allows us to handle the complexity that's needed for food ordering. and so. We were able to find great partners that share our vision. Um, and so we've teamed up with companies like MasterCard and White Castle um, to power their drive-through food ordering experiences. Um, and so that is a dream scenario where we can work together. It frees up their staff to work on other challenges like food preparation, customer service, and making sure the experiences are amazing. So how does that work at White Castle then where SoundHound's deployed? So someone drives up into the drive-through and they're talking to a SoundHound custom voice assistant? Yeah, they drive into the drive-through um, and then there's an electronic um, ordering menu board where you can speak to the SoundHound powered voice assistant. Um, and then you can place your orders, you can customize them. Um, and when you, then you can check out with your payment and it's all seamlessly um, powered by our voice AI. Got it. So. In that scenario, what did you have to do differently than what you'd have to do in a mobile app? Yeah, so it's interesting because um, it's not a touch screen, it's more of a 10 foot type experience. Um, but then we, when you can use your voice AI as a predominant interaction, there's no touch, tap or swipe. Um, you can um, really focus in on what to display to the users, how to prompt them, how to build almost a new behavior in some ways, but it's a very familiar way to place food ordering. And we've leveraged this kind of multimodal experience to have successful orders, but we've then taken it a step further even to drive it into food ordering over the phone. Okay, so let's talk about that because that's obviously been a, a, a big thing over the last two years in terms of people doing takeout. So it's one thing to say, okay, we're going to automate a drive-through and maybe they might have phone ordering as well, but I think it's usually for those organizations, it's usually drive-through or mobile app, maybe they have phone, but it doesn't seem that common to me. But most restaurants don't have a drive-through and you're actually, if you want to do takeout, you're going to call them. Yeah. So we're really excited to expand our offering or sound hunt for restaurants. Um, we can take over the phone line. Um, and the real reason why we're doing this is because one, um, Restaurants are so busy that they have to create, prepare food. Um, and then the last thing you want during a lunch rush is to have to answer the phone, explain the menu, um, call out what the different options are on food. Um, so then they have this dilemma of, do I deal with the customer in the store and make food or do I talk on the phone for 10 minutes? And so what we're able to do is leverage our voice AI to answer the phone. Um, we never miss a call. We're there 24 seven to always answer. I like to think we always answer with a smile. Um, we can even help upsell orders if you forget to order dessert or fries or a drink. And really it just makes the restaurant's lives a lot easier. Um, it works for large chains, it works for mom and pops. It, it can help restaurants of all shapes and sizes. Okay, so it strikes me that this is probably a more important solution for restaurants than maybe it would have been perceived as three years ago. And I, I say that because I've had a lot of conversations recently around the situation. I've actually read a lot of news accounts too, around this issue of actually filling open slots 
So restaurants in particular, and I've faced this myself being at restaurants, they are really challenged to get people in as employees to fully staff their operations. Yeah, the labor shortage is definitely one of the top things that when we talk to restaurant owners, it's the high, it's the high turnover and difficulty in finding uh, people to help out. And even pre-pandemic, um, most people weren't able to dedicate people to answer the phone anyway. So it was when you call, it's the chef that's answering or somebody that's trying to do 10 other tasks. So the labor shortage has only exasperated the problem. Um, and so what this allows us to do is to really make that pain, at least in this one area, a lot better. I can think of a personal experience I had with a pizza shop and where I live. Uh, just last week, I was trying to call to order a pizza. They had a answering machine on. They said, if we don't answer, it's because we're with a customer. Just come in and place your order. I got there full 40 minutes before closing. They said, we can't serve you. We've got an hour and a half backup. But it's cost me like 20 minutes when a voice assistant could have immediately just said, I'm sorry, we can't help you today. Can we give you a coupon so that you can have a, enjoy a wonderful pizza tomorrow? Yeah, that's definitely, it's a shame that you were, you had to go all the way there to get that answer. And, you know, we talked to a lot of restaurants and one of the owners we talked to said during the lunch rush, um, I actually want to unplug my phone because it's ringing off the hook. And I can't, you know, I can't answer this phone and make this food. And so by enabling us to help answer the phone, uh, we actually can put the route the order directly into the kitchen so they can actually create the food. And then it's a win-win because they get a happy customer, they get more revenue, they can create the food that they have capacity for in the kitchen anyway. And so it, it's a great across the board. Yeah, I think of the restaurant industry, one of the things that's really interesting, in maybe in contrast to some other some other enterprise applications is three years ago, everybody who was talking about voice AI was talking about how it would supplement their operations, how it would make it easier for their employees to do their jobs that they're supposed to be doing. And, and that's true for sure in the restaurant industry, as you say, some people don't have anybody to actually do that. But in particular, it's even more true today because they don't have it. And if anything, what it is, you're taking this AI bot, which is filling that role. Definitely. And we're there not to replace people. We're there to help solve a problem that they're already trying to overcome today. And, and it's really interesting because food ordering is such a complex problem. It might seem really easy to say, I want a cheeseburger. Okay, well, the, the person wants a cheeseburger. But you could say, give me a hamburger with cheese. Or I want a medium rare burger with Swiss cheese, double pickles, hold the mayo. Uh, with a toasted bun, right? There's just so many different permutations and ways to order just a simple cheeseburger, um, let alone sides and drinks. And I think that's where our technology of speech to meaning uh, really shines uh, because we can understand all those nuances and uh, different variations. We have this other problem too, where people will place an order, but they'll forget something, for example, that you need to fulfill that order. So you just mentioned a hamburger. One of the questions you might have to answer is how they want it cooked. Do they want it medium rare, medium, well done? And if they don't say that when they initially order it, your system has to know to ask them that. We think about this maybe as slot filling and sometimes in order to make sure that you actually have a complete order. Definitely. Yeah. Our, our system is able to know what different, like how well done you want your burger, which questions we have to ask. We Our system understands which questions might get asked, like by default, it comes with ketchup, mustard, and tomatoes. So we'll just, we won't bother the customer with all, all those questions. But if they ask to remove the tomatoes, we'll know, okay, it comes with tomatoes and remove them. If you say remove the pickles off of something that doesn't have pickles, we might actually let you know it doesn't have pickles. So don't worry, we're not going to add them anyway. Okay. And so does this automatically then place the order for them when it's complete? Yeah, that's one of the beauties of the system. It's completely seamless and we integrate with point of sale systems. So just like when you're in the store and the person touches into the keypad and it all goes into the kitchen system, our orders automatically appear. So the kitchen staff can just know th to make this order and it's there ready for pickup or however the person wants to get the order. Got it. Okay. So I think this is interesting, but I'm, I've got one additional question because I think about the restaurant industry and it's highly varied. 
So you've got some concentration with some big franchise chains uh, that are going to have largely cookie cutter operations. Then you have all these independents out there, or they might just have three different properties, or maybe they've got three different restaurants, but they have all three have different menus because they're part of a restaurant group. How do you handle that? Like, how do you handle something that is designed for scale, but also designed for like really minute customization? Or do you only serve one of those markets? Yeah. From the beginning, we've always had this vision of serving the entire industry. Um, We work obviously with large chains, but our solution is so turnkey that all you have to do is sign up, connect it to your point of sale system so it can show up in your kitchen. You upload your menu so we know what people can order, all the different variations. And then you just have a phone number and then we can take over that phone number. So when someone calls, it goes into our system, they place the order, it shows up in your kitchen. It's super turnkey and works out of the box. You know, this strikes me as a significant departure from where we've seen voice AI in many applications in the past. So we we think about the old customer support systems that were really just there to put you in the right queue or to make you wait a little bit for, until a person could help you. And then we had these other delightful consumer experiences where it might help you with smart home or or getting music. And now we have something that's just like core efficiency. It's filling a role, it's automating a process, and hopefully providing much better service for the customers. Definitely. We're excited about this area. And, you know, we built the system to scale. You can imagine once we finish rolling out this, we're also thinking about doctor's appointments, hair salons, other places where you have to have someone today answer the phone, especially for small businesses. Um, We can automate that away and just make everyone's lives easier. Okay. That's great, James. Thanks so much for spending a few minutes on that. How can the people watching today learn more about SoundHound? Yeah, please go to soundhound.com slash restaurants to find out more. It's been great talking to you, Brett. All right. Thanks, you. Thanks, everybody. Come back for more special information, inside knowledge about the evolution and the current state of voice AI.